Hi, Nancy Gore here. Ron and I are at Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge in Florida. We are observing bumblebees at a patch of beaked butterfly pea plants to watch how the insects and flowers interact. You can see how the pea flower has evolved the perfect shape to make the bumblebee a partner in the plant's survival. This is called symbiosis. Both the flower and the bumblebee benefit from their relationship. The bumblebee lands on the sturdy front petal of the pea flower called the standard. In order to reach nectar with its long tube-shaped proboscis, the bumblebee must push its head into the flower, which causes the flower's anthers or male parts to come forward and deposit pollen on the bee's back. The bumblebee then flies to another pea flower, and as it sucks nectar, the female part, or stigma, of the new flower picks up the pollen from the last flowers the bumblebee visited. This is essential. To produce robust plants that can adapt to changing conditions, the flower needs to be fertilized by pollen from other flowers. The scent bumblebees leave on flowers as a nectar dissipates with time, while the amount of nectar available increases as the flower replenishes its supply. A bumblebee has recently nectared on this flower and left its scent. The next bumblebee detects the scent and then quickly flies off. The bumblebee wastes no time on flowers that have no nectar. Butterflies such as the long-tailed skipper and the monarch also nectar on the butterfly pea, but as they are not shaped to reach the anthers, they collect no pollen and can't pollinate the pea flowers.